I am answering the call. We're going to go get and make happen a brand new 2021 Venom Road Ride. But it's not mine. And it's probably one of the most difficult trades that I've ever been a part of. So I'm on my bike. I just got a phone call 30 minutes ago. My father-in-law says, go get my bike. I'm trading it in. Now his bike is at a friend's house who does some audio work. He was having a little issue with the speaker. Uh, the wire probably come unsoldered or whatever, but but he does audio work. He's the one who installed it. So he took it back to him, I think two days ago. Well, the Venom road ride popped up and he kind of wants it. So naturally he goes to look at it today and he falls in love with it. But of course they are a very hot commodity and he just has to have it. Uh, he's kind of been wanting a road ride. He was, he actually, I think put a deposit down uh, or was going to put a deposit down on getting some custom paint work. So he was already going to be anywhere between $2,500 to $5,000 into a full custom paintwork on his street glide that he has now. So we're going to next that. <laughs> we're going to go pick up his bike, but there's also some issues. His bike has, well, he's got an upgraded stereo and handlebars. We're going to leave that be. Uh, he's got a saddleman seat. He's got lid covers. And the biggest thing is he's got legend shocks. The same shocks that I will be putting back on this bike. I was hoping to do that today, but that didn't happen. The salesman told him that the 2021s, they changed the shocks up and it's not the same. So he's just like, ah, oh, we'll just trade it in. Well, that's not going to happen. He bought these shocks probably not six months ago. We are not going to just give these shocks away. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and pick them up. We're gonna, I'm gonna go pick the bike up, take it to another buddy's house who's ready for me to get there. We're gonna swap everything out very quickly. And once we get everything swapped out, we're gonna put the stock shocks back on, take those lid covers off. I'm gonna go ahead and switch the seat before I get over there, because uh, the guy's house is right next to my father-in-law's house. But this is just a fiasco. <laughs> the things we do to help out the people we know, friends and family, man. But that's okay. I get to ride bike today. I was hoping to do some videos for my stuff and uh, for myself and work on some wretched stuff, but hey, when that phone call comes through, you do what you gotta do. Comment down below. Would you do the same thing? Your friend or family calls you up and says, hey, I need help. What do you do? You say, I'll be there. So we're gonna have a good time. Hopefully everything goes smoothly and we're gonna figure this out. All right, we've acquired the father-in-law's bike and we're headed to his house, which is kind of just right next door. We're gonna swap the seats out here because the seat's in the house. And then we're gonna run over to my buddy's house, strip the rest of it down. And I believe we should be on our way. But this thing's weird, man. It's so different from my road glide. This thing is like piloting a weird ship. But let's get it done. Alright, we switched out the seats. We're on the way. So now we gotta go to my buddy's house, strip this bike down, back to stock as much as possible. That way he doesn't waste as much money. Hopefully he can get the best value. The Harley shop, they don't care about what's on your bike. Um, what they're gonna do is they're gonna give you, I mean, you could have everything in the world done to your bike. And they're gonna give you zero dollars more for it. And then they're going to turn right around and add a little bit of money on the back end for when they sell it. So yeah, this thing having nice handlebars, uh, nicer mirrors, phone mount, uh, got these highway pegs down here, legend shocks, you know, 500 RC. They would love to see that. They're going to give you zero over what they would give any stock street glide, you know, going into the dealer. But 
they're going to attack, uh, turn around and tack on like an extra thousand dollars, which is still under the value of all the parts. But they know that because of the parts that are on there, they're going to sell this bike way faster. Man, these handlebars trip me out though. They are way too wide for what I would want to be doing. I do not feel nearly as comfortable on this thing as I do my road glide. Oh well, it's not my bike. And for too much longer, it's not going to be my father-in-law's either. So we're going to take a quick dash to my buddy's house. Hopefully get everything swapped out as soon as possible and get back on the road. Alright guys, we got the bike stripped down. Uh, we were moving real fast, so I didn't worry about any real video or stuff like that. Uh, we were in and out less than 30 minutes. That is not bad at all. I had two guys helping me. Uh, we threw the stock shocks on. We took the lid covers off. We took the mirrors off. We took his phone mount off. And what else did we do? We took the highway pegs off. I think that's everything. The only thing, oh, and there was also like some aftermarket ring covers and LED uh, brake lights. We took those off. So we are completely back to stock as far as we can go. Uh, the grips wouldn't have been bad to take off, but we didn't have anything to put back on it. My buddy had some had a road light there that was compatible but he's already got the grips on it that he wants and he doesn't have the stock ones so there was no reason to pull these off we didn't have anything to go back on it and you gotta have to have grips on the motorcycle to trade it in uh, the bars we definitely did not have enough time today to get that done uh, especially if we ran into an issue that wouldn't have worked so we are on our way now. The bike is as stripped down as it can be. You see, it's about 240. By the time I get there, it'll be almost, well, it, it's about an hour away. So we gotta get moving, get there. We're gonna crush these miles and see what we can't get. All right, guys, we're on the highway. We're gonna get there as fast as we can. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know what paperwork has been done. What, I don't know if the deal has even been made. Uh, hopefully this is not all for nothing. I know once my father-in-law has his mind made up, he's going to do it. There's no question about it. He's going to do it. So I know that more than likely he's coming home with that bike. Uh, I mean, I have no idea what he's paying for it, what they're talking about, taking it for his trade. I know he's going to pay MSRP for that bike, there's no way they're going to take a dollar off that. Uh, so his biggest thing is just going to be what they're willing to give him for the trade on this. But comment down below, are you a road glide fan? Are you a street glide fan? Especially if you have ridden both, which one do you like? And even if you haven't, which one do you think looks better? Comment down below which one you think is better. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad. I know I'm seeing it pretty good, but uh, hopefully you can hear me okay. I know I need to get some filter module or something for this GoPro. It should help with the audio. I need to probably do that. But my day is kind of shot to get to do what I want to do. I'm kind of happy though that I was able to make a video out of this probably halfway there, able to go pretty fast on the highway. I will say though, this bike is pretty stable on the highway. I'm not a fan of these bars riding around because it's so wide. It's uncomfortable. It just puts you in a weird position. It really makes you push the front end around. But I mean, it's a pretty good height. I wish it was a little further in for cruising. But this bike's Okay, it's a highway, 90 miles an hour. I could do this all day long. But I am interested in what he's going to do with this new bike. Uh, the salesman says the new shocks are different. I didn't know they were. So maybe he'll sell the shocks he's got. Uh, maybe those new ones are good enough to where he won't need the legends that he has. So maybe he won't need 
dividing shots, I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty sure the handlebars and everything are kind of the same. Stock handlebars on a Harley used to suck anyway. So I'm interested, you know, is, I think the bike had some couplers on it. I can't remember. I really don't know much about it. He showed me some pictures last night and talked about it. I didn't realize he was that serious. So I think he's got a little bit of to it, but I know he's getting grips for it. Uh, he's just buying them. Maybe they'll blow them in. I don't know. We're going to put them on though. But I'm really interested to see what direction he goes. This is a 107. He's bumping up to a 114. Could be a little bit of added power there. I wonder if he's going to do any more. Just go cosmetics. I'm not sure. But I'm definitely interested to find out. Well, guys, I didn't know I was going to ride it home, but. Here is the new 2021 Snake Venom Road Glide Special. I know you can't see it too well in here, but I'm up under a bridge right now. But we're going to go to dinner or late lunch, early dinner. I haven't really ate anything today. Uh, but I mean, it feels pretty good. It's weird to be on stock bars again. It doesn't feel too bad. The radio is not bad. It looks pretty cool. It's a 114. It does not have with well, the ADRS or whatever they call it. it. I don't think it has the traction control and stuff like that. So you can do burnouts and wheelies and stuff, and it doesn't matter. Um, that you know, it's kind of important, I guess. But it's definitely powerful. It does have these little mini engine guards that's not bad to be able to put your feet on I mean, not enough to trade mine in, but that's a pretty cool bike, I will say. Hopefully you can see the color a little bit better. It's green and purple. It really depends on where the sun is and all that good kind of stuff. I mean, I would like to do a uh, full review of this bike at one time, but for right now, you know, I'm just kind of showing you guys what I got, or what my father-in-law got, but what I have been doing today. So, we're going to go to dinner, uh, I guess you can call it dinner at 4 o'clock, and uh, we'll be good. I'm stoked. I'm sure he's stoked. Well, we just got back. I uh, got a little dark, and uh, I didn't plan on doing any of this today, so my GoPro battery on the helmet definitely died out. I didn't have, I don't think it was fully charged because I was using it the day before, and uh, the extra battery I had, I hadn't, didn't put it on the charger, so... Didn't get all the footage. The father-in-law rode the bike back from dinner. Um, I'm stoked on it. It rides pretty good. Uh, that 114 does screen pretty good up to uh, whatever the stopping point is. I think it's got a limiter on it. I didn't look down as I was doing that full speed run. I kind of glanced. I couldn't tell where we were at, but it definitely seemed like it stopped on me. Bike sounds great. Sounds great from in the car. You know, the exhaust sounds pretty good for just being slip-ons. Uh, that 114 must, must push it a little bit better than that 107 does. But I'm excited to make some videos with it. I want to I wanna do a full review of that thing and show the paint scheme on it. It's, it's pretty wild. So we made it home. Definitely didn't get what I needed to get done today, but that's all right. We helped out the homie, got his bike, so we're all stoked. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Comment down below, what do you think of the Snake Venom? I know you didn't get to see much. We're going to do a video on it for sure. 
but what's your thought process on it? Good move to go to the road glide. What do you think about the paint? As always, keep it wretched.